Jones and Terrence Tolliver in those discussions as well. Baldwin ranks right there with him. First and ten for Sanceri. Launching this one high and deep. Wide open. Touchdown, John Baldwin. 44 yards. Okay, guys, welcome back to the Sports Horn, and we're talking NFL, we're talking Chiefs, even though that we're still locked out right now. This is a very important topic. And well, we got a lot longer uh, than I thought originally, you know. I mean, we're all over to what, day 100? I guess. I lost count after 90, and I, you know, because that's halfway there. Uh, all I know is this if they don't get something done soon, it's going to be a mess, not only for the owners, but the players. But here's the good signs, is there's been a lot more talking going on here lately, and there's been a lot more getting down to the to the nitty gritty, if you will. And I, I feel like I think it's coming. I think it's coming. I think we're I think we're right around the corner. So that in that way, it's exciting. But that is why today, my friend You don't have to take our word for it, guys, because we actually right. are being joined right now on the line by a very special guest, John Baldwin. Johnny, you there? Which leads me into my next question, John, because you know what we were, what everybody wonders as you know, for, from high school all the way up, is what does it feel like to be a first round draft pick? I mean, what were you going through when when Todd Haley made that phone call? I mean, what were the emotions kind of that were coming over you? John, I gotta tell you, we are so excited because now we feel like we have a complete wide receiving core. Okay, now John, you know, we've been talking about the, the NFL lockout today, obviously. It's been a pertinent topic across the league. You know, I wanna know how it's affecting you personally as a rookie, uh, unable to sign a contract yet. Um, how, how is this affecting you as far as the process of getting in there and getting workouts done and, and getting on with the season? So John, as the 26th pick came along, and I know most Chiefs fans, including our own draft party, I know most Chiefs fans were thinking offensive line, especially with you know the guys that were still available, uh, you know Gabe Carami being one of them. Um, what was what would you say to? Well, let's just show them a reaction from our party right now. This is my brother, John. NFL draft, the Kansas City Chiefs select Jonathan Baldwin. God damn it for Pitt! And see, John, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, that you know, that is a, a you know one of the responses that happened at our party. So I can imagine all the Chiefs fans everywhere else. But here's the thing: what what would you say to all the naysayers that would, would doubt you? Because I don't really think anybody is now with the way that the draft turned out. But when the Chiefs selected you, and when there was that reaction, what is your, what was your what would your reaction be to the naysayers? We love to hear that, John. Now, I'll, I'll ask you this. You're down in Joplin right now. Tell us a little bit. Yeah, that absolutely makes sense. Understandable there, John. And uh, right now, as we speak, uh, John is actually joining us from Joplin, Missouri, yes. taking part in some of the relief efforts. You know, a lot of Chiefs are down there right now. This is a great cause. I mean, uh, oh, it's, uh, it means a lot. Now, you know, John, right now, how is uh, what is your reaction to some of this devastation, and how you know how do you feel being able to be down there and uh, assisting in some of this?
Yeah, John, and you know, we, we got to tell you, we really appreciate yeah. you and the rest of the Chiefs being down there and what you guys are, are doing for the state of Missouri because it is a huge cause right now. Now, John, toward a more positive aspect, a lot of people want to know a lot of things, but one of the questions we've had here at the Sports Horn is what number are you going to choose? Because I know that Dwayne Bow wears number 82. You obviously wore number 82 at Pitt. So I think the consensus is Dwayne Bow is going to go back to 80, his college number, and you might take 82. But never mind what we think. What do you think, John? The situation we're in, there's a lockout. We have no contact with anyone. Oh, right. With that being said, I can't pick a number because I can't even contact anyone. I guess that's true. That makes sense because I know I'm ready to go out. Well, John, thank you so much for joining us today. We've, thank uh, you, our John. guests, our, all our fans really enjoy hearing you. Thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll look forward to catching up to you. Yeah. Thank you. Have a nice day. But, uh, folks, that was it right there. Johnny Baldwin from Pitt, our first round draft pick, joining us right here on the Sports Horn. His what? first interview of this kind. His first interview of right this here. kind, right here on the Sports Horn. As we promised, we promised we deliver. So you hear his thoughts, guys. He wants to get to work, these players want to get to work. This lockout needs to end. So, Clint, with that being said, uh, and, and you know, having that behind us, tell me how you feel about the Royals. Okay, moving on. Um, I have muffins in the oven. I don't know. <laughs> what are you me here? Congratulations to the Dallas Mavericks for winning their first world championship. We can only imagine what that feeling. Is. Championship? Why can't this be a whole party trophy? I will do it one of these days. Hang in there. This is going to be a lot. BCS! 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 <laughs> We've done it. It was only, you it's know, not chrome, real. Plated, it's not real. chrome plated at an angle when we were holding